The airbag was invented in the 1960s, but it wasn't an instant smash hit. It took several years to trigger a reaction. By the 1980s, car manufacturers were installing them in most vehicles. Sensors detect sudden deceleration and inflate them, giving the vehicle occupants a soft landing. This side curtain airbag inflates in less than 20 thousandths of a second. Blink and you'll miss it. Making an airbag is practically a seamless effort because they're woven in one piece. Large computerized looms weave at a blurring speed, 600 revolutions per minute. They lift and lower each nylon yarn to make an intricate one piece fabric. Up to 10,700 yarns could be used to make the material. If even one out of the thousands of yarns breaks, an electrical sensor will detect it and shut the loom down. Despite this rapid weaving action, the loom produces just eight meters of fabric an hour. That's because it's very dense fabric. That density will allow the airbag to stand up to the force of deployment. Now, the woven fabric goes through an inspection station. As automated rollers wind it up, it's examined. Next, it's on to the scouring station. Here, a machine unwinds the airbag fabric as rollers guide it towards a wash and dry system that's 36 meters long. The rollers draw the airbag material through a number of wash tanks to ensure a thorough cleaning. Then, a series of hot rollers dry and press the fabric. The freshly laundered airbag material moves through the coating machine. A hose pumps liquid silicon onto the fabric and a scraper overhead distributes it. The silicon seals the airbag fabric, but it's wet and sticky and needs to dry so it passes through a series of ovens heated to about 190 degrees Celsius. As it dries, the silicon cures to the fabric. Now, a computer-guided laser cuts the material with a precision and speed that no human could ever replicate. Black lines woven into the fabric assist the laser as it cuts the airbag design. At any point in time, it's cutting multiple airbags out of the fabric. When the job is done, the conveyor belt moves the airbags forward. And now, they're checked once more. The one-piece airbag is pulled across a template and examined to make sure the dimensions match. Then, it's sent over to the sewing station. Although the airbags have been seamlessly woven, attachments and reinforcements still need to be sewn on. The stitching is computer controlled. Fabric is fed into the sewing machine. The machine stitches together the tabs that will connect the airbag to the inside of the vehicle frame, just above the side window. Here it sews a tether onto the bag. This strip of fabric will also be used to hold the airbag in place. Now it's time to test a sample airbag from the production run. And yes, we have ignition. <laughs> 